Hello everybody! Today is my first day back at Mount View after lockdown number three. I cannot tell you how excited but also nervous and stressed I am about going back. Obviously we've been online for like three months and we did showcase within that time but we were also rehearsing our show London which is what we are literally about to perform next week. We were doing that all online like literally performing it in our bedrooms every single week on Zoom. I can tell you now it was not the one like it was just really hard knowing that we had a full show literally ready to perform and ready to go and we just had to keep performing it by ourselves every week so today and tomorrow we are rehearsing the play so we have two days to rehearse it and get it back to the standard that it was obviously it's not long but at the same time we're really grateful that we've got some rehearsal days and then next week we are literally going into tech and then performing the show our show is basically a devised completely made up show 90% of the music in the show has been written by all of us the speeches also it's kind of half of them have been written by us and then half of them have been taken from existing text. It basically takes you through the history of London, how London was built up until where London is now, but it also it has a very strong political message all the way through, and it's really exciting. We're all multi-rolling, so we don't have like set characters. In Mount View, obviously you do projects and you do do performances, but you just do them in, in one of the Mount View general studios. So we actually haven't been on a proper stage in three years since I start, well, four years, I guess, which is just crazy. So I can't tell you how excited I am to get back to it like it's just gonna be amazing so because we've only got two days to rehearse like today and tomorrow are going to be hectic today we are obviously going in for the first time since we've all been home so we are all being tested for coronavirus first thing this is really scary like I can honestly tell you I have been so so safe like this whole time I will be absolutely fine but you know it's just that fear the fact that some people have it and just don't have any symptoms and just are carriers so it's just like it's really scary that there's a chance that I could be positive and literally then I wouldn't be able to do the show at all and if anyone tests positive this morning we've got to rework the whole show without them in it which is really horrible and scary I mean it's not even worth thinking about and it won't happen because we've all been so safe obviously because of this risk it's the first day back when we all did our test before um going home for Christmas if she all of us were studying that like crying. It was very funny, wasn't it? Uh, I, it was very funny. Yeah, it was very funny. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Wash those hands. Ooh, yeah. Wash those hands. Skr, skr, skr. The test is done, boys. I've got my card. It's lunch time! We did the first run of the show after three months. <laughs> it was okay, actually. I did. I, I thought it would be catastrophic. Oh, I thought awful. it was going to be a car crash. Yeah, but I think it was okay. I'm really proud of us, guys. Good morning, everyone. It is day one of show week. I am so excited. Today is the first day of tech. So we're gonna be moving into our dressing rooms. We're basically in today from nine until eight, I think. And I'm also kind of anticipating that we might overrun. So I've packed lunch, I've packed dinner, I've packed loads of snacks. I've also packed everything for my dressing room. So makeup, water, just like literally anything I need. Good morning. It's show week day uh, one. Shoe week. Shoe week? Yeah. <laughs> what a long line. Jeez. We're getting tested. Right, we've just been tested. Woo! I'll show you our little journey. A dressing room journey, it's not far to be honest. Leona Craig is in. Lucy Munden. Hell yeah. Right lads, this is the way to the dressing room. We are dressing room five. Oh my god, this is massive. Oh, oh my god, this is so exciting. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to unpack. Get moved in. Now we've been tested, we've just got to wait for the results. So I'm just going to set out all my stuff. And here are our rehearsal shoes and our costumes. Oh, yours is cute. That's so sweet. I love that. Wow. This is mine. Got a little boiler suit. Hell yeah. This is actually all feeling so real now. So we've just had, we've just had a mic briefing. We all have to do our own mics, obviously, because like, the stage people can't touch our own mics so we've just been told exactly how to fit and put our mics on then we just had a little tour around the set which is so exciting I've literally not stepped on a stage in three years so it was so exciting to actually see the set in the flesh because we've just had a, like a tape markup in our studios so I can never actually film in the theatre because the set is actually copyrighted so I can't show you it until obviously the show is actually released we're about to do like a little spacing thing on the stage 
Charlotte's literally got a pantry over there. We've got a little kettle as well. So this is my little nebulizer, which I use to steam. Everyone thinks I'm vaping when I use it. This is how it works. <laughs> This is Boots, Queen Boudicca, Queen Boudicu. Hey girl! You look so cool! Hell yeah girl! This is my costume, I've got a little boiler suit, got some Doc Martens on. We're ready to go. So literally we've just been like staging all the choreography moments of the show, just to make sure that we are all two meters apart. If we need to wear masks whilst we're dancing, we'll do that. It's been quite frustrating because we've already had to change quite a lot of the blocking and spacing of the show. Once we're now actually in the space, we've realized we've got complacent in the choreography and we're not exactly two meters. And now I think we're actually gonna start tech rehearsal, so I reckon they'll bring our mics soon. We'll put our mics on. Okay, we're all mics up for the first time. That was such a nightmare. Yes. They're really difficult. You've gotta like clip them everywhere and like, that was a lot. <laughs> All of got a bit stressy this afternoon. If you've ever been in a professional tech before, it's a bit stressful, I can't lie. I cannot lie. <laughs> Good morning, it's day two. <laughs> so I've made myself so much more comfy. I've got like a little holder for my makeup, all my brushes. I bought a mug and some tea, and I've basically just got a bit more of a setup, to be honest. I also bought a blanket for my seat, which is great. <laughs> so last night I had a really bad eczema reaction to my makeup, so my face is not feeling good. So I'm not gonna put any stage makeup on this morning, just cause I think I need to give my skin a rest. So that's what we're gonna do. It's Tuesday. He made me mash my m and Mommy made me mash my m and So it is actually day four today. I didn't film yesterday. I think yesterday it was our like last proper day of tech. And I just think we were all pretty exhausted. Can't lie, I was not in the best mood. Came on my period, everything was hurting. You know the drill. So today we are literally teching the finale of the show this morning. And then this afternoon we've got the dress rehearsal and we're getting photos taken. So this morning our costumes are getting washed. So we're just gonna do no costume for this morning's run. Also, do you know what's annoying about this whole process, guys? Obviously, because of corona, we can't like go into other people's dressing rooms, we can't really stand backstage literally until just before we've got to go on stage. So the normal like show banter is not here. Mommy made me match my M and M's. Mommy made me match my M and M's. <laughs> rehearsals for the finale this morning it's currently 20 to 12 and we're going to do our first technical run we're just having a tea break now for 15 minutes and then we're gonna do our first proper run with all the lighting all the sound I am so excited I am kind of struggling with my voice a bit though. It's just been so like such a shock for all of us coming straight out of lockdown where we've not been talking to anyone, not socializing, not singing a lot, not speaking, to coming and doing like a full out show. Like it's just, it's, it's been a bit intense. So I'm um, currently using my nebulizer, just trying to chill my voice. Oh, we're on Mount Views Instagram. A mythological retelling of the history of London from the landing of Brutus of Troy to the forming of the Peckham Peace Wall. Ah, oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Right, so now I need to go and preset everything before the show. I need to go and put my flute on the side of the stage. I need to pick up my light for the opening. I need to set my flag. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
biggest mood I think I've ever seen. So we've just finished the tech run. I mean, it wasn't really a run to be honest. Like lots of things kept going wrong. Doing the dress run. So the photographer is still taking photos during the dress run, but obviously he can't really move around all the tech people because of COVID reasons. So they've isolated different numbers now for him to take photos of, and then for the dress rehearsal he'll just be stood in one place doing all the photos. So yeah, it's very exciting. I am waiting in the dressing room to go on for a woman of the city, but I thought you guys would want to hear Lizzie. She's actually smashing it. One I'll show you guys like what it comes out of. So out of this, we can hear Lucy Lou. You go, gal. My favorite bit's coming up. She's doing so good. I hope you can all hear this. It's sick. Talented, I swear to God. Oh. I'm just crying. It's really emotional to be fair as a show, like especially to do. Yeah, just the end, like the very end. So the next few minutes until the cast come on stage for their notes. Good morning, everybody. It is the day of our first performance of London, our first official performance, our first official recording. I'm in my third and final year and I'm performing my first third year show and I'm on my way to graduation and a professional career. It's just crazy, it's so crazy. I just can't explain to you how I feel. We've also literally been doing this show I think for like six months now. Because of corona, our rehearsal process has literally kept being interrupted time and time again. So we have been waiting for ages to do this show. So the fact that today is the day we finally get to do it. It's just amazing and I'm so excited and I'm so grateful to be able to be doing this. And I, yeah, there are a lot of emotions going on this morning. It's show day one! So this morning we are doing an open dress rehearsal. We actually don't know who's coming to watch it or if anybody's actually allowed to come and watch it, obviously because of COVID, that's why we've not got a live audience. But we'll see. Obviously it will just be like either our teachers or like the headmaster, I don't know. We've had our five minute call and then this afternoon we are filming it for real. Like this, this is it. Sister! Ooh. It's my turn! So I literally have the most amazing friends ever, guys. I do, I actually do, and it's none of you. Uh, <laughs> Massive shout out to Immy, who got all of us these sweets and chocolates, and she got me some flowers, which is so cute. And Jo Stevenson, girl, you know the way to my heart, she got me some more flowers, which I'm gonna have to put in that little cup. And she got me some Marmite. You guys know, if you've been here since the first days, you know what this means to me. And finally, this is actually my new obsession, dark, lint chocolate spread which is absolutely amazing and my lovely 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 housemates got this for me i literally came back to my dressing room and it was on my dressing room table which is so sweet you wouldn't think she's ready to graduate would you <laughs> we now have quite a while till we actually start our proper show this evening i think we're also being marked tonight which is kind of scary we are just about to start the actual show i'm so nervous i can't lie Oh, I'm so scared! I'm so scared! 
How are you feeling, Charlotte? Good. I'm so beautiful. I'm beautiful. I'm confident. I'm confident. I'm confident. I'm gonna rock the show. I'm gonna rock the show. Yeah. Woo! Second show. Woo! How are we feeling, ladies? I'm feeling so great. Yes, I think we're all feeling so much more prepared for this one. I can't lie. Yeah, not okay. energized. It's a Saturday as well, it's so it feels different. So it is our last show this morning's show i can't lie for me went absolutely horrendously it was not good our director actually showed us the first like three minutes of the show what it looks like on camera because obviously it's all being filmed but we have no idea what it even looks like we don't know which camera is filming us at which time so it was really exciting like actually being able to see what the audience is gonna see. It's also really different, like, obviously we don't have an audience, so we've just got every, all the tech people right in front of us. So directing it to them is like really strange. So it's been quite interesting getting used to it. But I have so much energy and I'm so ready for this last show. Woo! 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 I think it's gonna be amazing. We did so well. I cannot describe to you the energy. I just, I felt like every other run that we've done of that was nowhere near close to the energy we just achieved then. To Britannia and to these Lavinian shores, hurled about endlessly by land and sea, by the will of the gods, until he founded a city. Welcome 
to hell.